Neil deGrasse Tyson cries out, confirming the most confusing and fearful discovery made by Voyager in the past decade. A discovery that scientists were in no way prepared for. Ever since the Voyager craft sent back this disturbing data from space, the scientific community has been unable to sleep, and everyone is walking under a tense atmosphere. Researchers, scientists, and engineers have been scrambled from their stations to combat these mysterious objects that Voyager 1 just spotted. We don't know where these strange objects are coming from or where they are headed, but what we do know is that we have seen nothing like them before. What are these mysterious objects that were recently discovered by Voyager 1? Join us today as we dissect these answers with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Voyager 1 has detected 500 unknown objects passing by in space. For almost five decades now, Voyager 1 has been sailing through the highways of space, exploring the deep realms that ground-based telescopes have been excluded from seeing and uncovering discoveries that leave our mouths wide open in shock. A product of genius minds that flow in abundance at the Johns Hopkins Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Voyager 1 has been the golden messenger to the uncharted territory of intergalactic space. This engineering masterpiece has opened our eyes to the mind-blowing wonders that exist in our cosmos. In a recent development, Neil deGrasse Tyson has confirmed that Voyager has detected 500 unknown objects gliding peacefully in space. This news came as a shock to the scientific community, rattling scientists as everyone began poring over the data obtained by Voyager 1. Something strange was brewing on the horizon, and it was difficult to solve this bubbling puzzle that had dumbfounded even the best of scientists. Ever since Neil deGrasse Tyson confirmed this discovery, different interpretations have been flying in the air in an attempt to sketch a vivid picture that explains this mystery. If it had been another spacecraft that transmitted the type of bewildering data recently received from space, scientists might have doubted the validity of the data. However, it is Voyager 1 we are talking about here, the space probe that has been cruising through the steamy paths of space for almost 50 years now and has exceeded our expectations. Like a patient who beat cancer, Voyager 1 has exceeded scientists' projected lifespan of three years to spend over 45 years in space, uncovering history-making discoveries simultaneously. The most intriguing part about this iconic tale is that Voyager is writing this success story from a very far distance from Earth. The last time scientists checked, they saw that the space probe was 14.5 billion miles away from our planet, speeding away in space with no sign that it would reduce its pace anytime soon. Researchers say that the space probe has been traveling at a rate 3.6 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun per year. This is one pill that scientists have found a bit hard to swallow because, naturally, one would have expected the space probe's speed to have declined greatly, given the longevity of its journey in space. On closer inspection, it seems Voyager 1 is destined to be the exception when it comes to this narrative, and it has shown evidence of this once more with its latest findings. It was just like every other day for scientists when Voyager 1 delivered exciting news that would stick in their memories for ages. Voyager 1 had stumbled upon some mysterious objects passing by in space. This discovery was unplanned, which explains the initial confusion of astronomers when they glanced over data showing that about 500 unknown objects had appeared from nowhere. One minute, we didn't know about the existence of these objects, and the next minute, we had scientists cracking their brains in search of an answer to this puzzle that nature had landed in their laps. Scientists were in a fix, and the blame could be traced to only one guilty party, Voyager 1. Ironically, scientists also knew that the solution to unraveling this mystery also rested on the heavy shoulders of the space probe. Initially, when news of this discovery broke out, some scientists considered the possibility that it could have been a mistake. They thought that the age of Voyager may first be catching up with it, and hence it may be transmitting wrong data back to us. If we decide to walk on this unfolding path, it seems like a plausible explanation, given the fact that Voyager 1 was launched as far back as 1977. After almost five decades of active service on behalf of humanity, one can only expect that the spacecraft's computers would have grown weary and started to malfunction, shrinking in their responsibilities and sending back poor quality information to the ground team. As alluring as this narrative sounds, scientists have advised that we shouldn't tread there because it would be a slap on the selfless spirit of the Voyager. Despite the harsh and unpredictable environment of space, Voyager 1 has consistently churned out eye-opening data about our cosmos. Contrary to the hurried assumptions of skeptics, 
the space probe has maintained its long life thanks to its dual redundant computer systems. Like its twin, Voyager 2, Voyager 1 came equipped with two sets of command subsystems, flight data systems, FDS, and altitude and articulation control systems, ACS. This has been the secret power behind the spacecraft's unbroken fighting spirit when it comes to charting through space and uncovering discoveries. The redundancy paved the way for seamless transitions between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer components, thereby preserving their lifespan. When designing Voyager 1, engineers back on Earth came up with a plan to help the space probe maximize efficiency. This required that the probe's instruments rely on hardwired logic. They were taking no chances when it came to this area since they were handicapped due to time constraints and limitations in power budgets. The electrical engineers decided the instruments would have to be developed using simplified systems that depended on hardware logic. Thus, Voyager's computer systems comprised six onboard computers organized as a distributed system with three dual redundant pairs. Having overcome this hurdle, scientists had to face the next tall brick wall in their way, maintaining the systems. This intimidating height was surmounted by devising an ongoing power management plan. Power management entailed sustaining the operational capabilities of Voyager's computer systems, and if we are being honest, this is an arduous task to deal with, given the limited power resources available on board the space probe. It was a case of sending a hunter into the deep jungle to hunt for wild animals with only a set of knives. Nevertheless, scientists found a way around this problem by devising several measures to conserve and optimize power usage aboard Voyager. A good example of these power management measures is the selective powering down of non-essential systems. Engineers were forced into making this hard decision. Hence, they employed a systematic approach to identify and deactivate components or subsystems that were not crucial for the spacecraft's primary mission objectives. We see evidence of this when we take a quick look at heaters associated with certain instruments that had to be switched off. These heaters were originally designed to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures so they would operate or perform optimally. However, the story had to be rewritten by deactivating them, which greatly reduced power consumption on board Voyager. This reduction in the spacecraft's power usage comes with a ripple effect. An extension of Voyager's lifespan is a win-win situation for everybody. Moreover, we should bear in mind that this decision to power down non-essential systems is not taken lightly. It is a premeditated activity that requires careful evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific objectives of the spacecraft. Whenever such a decision was taken, all hands had to be on deck. Engineers and scientists had to sit together and evaluate the impact of deactivating specific systems on the quality and availability of scientific data. Emotions weren't at play here. It was strictly business based on the facts at hand. The team was driven by the desire to maximize power efficiency while maintaining the essential functions of the spacecraft so it could continue to gather necessary information about our universe undisturbed. Engineers and scientists alike didn't want anything to hinder Voyager's path when it came to uncovering the deep secrets locked away in hidden realms of space. Secrets that the universe has been keeping away from us for centuries. However, Selective power reduction isn't the only way that NASA engineers are keeping the Voyager afloat and operating optimally in space. They had another ace up their sleeves, which they had to place on the table for the benefit of the spacecraft. Alongside scientists, engineers had to come up with power management strategies that were adapted to the ever-changing conditions of the spacecraft's environment. For instance, as Voyager 1 travels farther away from the sun, the available solar energy takes a nosedive. While this poses a problem, the engineers came prepared. They compensated for this growing threat by ensuring that the spacecraft adjusted its power use accordingly. This adaptive approach is a masterstroke on the part of NASA engineers and scientists because it ensures that the available power resources are efficiently allocated to support the probe's key operations and data transfer back to Earth. Interestingly, the good news doesn't end here, as there have been ongoing technical advancements and upgrades in power management which have made room for engineers to refine and optimize the power systems of the spacecraft over the years. A close look at these enhancements reveals that they involve more efficient power distribution, improving battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. The implementation of well-thought-out and planned power management strategies has opened an exciting door for engineers.
it has made it possible for them to extend the operational lifespan of Voyager 1 alongside its twin, Voyager 2. This is a big win for the scientific community and the world at large. The careful allocation and management of power resources have equipped Voyager 1 with the requisite strength needed to keep exploring the depths of space unhinged, without fear of failure. The spacecraft has experienced an intriguing scientific journey, one where its critical systems remain functional despite its old age. Hence, it can transmit valuable data and provide eye-opening insights back to the ground team on Earth for as long as possible. This was the story of Voyager 1 when it brought back a report of the disturbing discovery of 500 unknown objects passing by in space. It was because of this discovery that the scientific community knew the heavens were about to tell another exciting story. However, it will take some time before we can tell what lies ahead in the mysterious void of space and before this compelling tale unfolds before us. In the meantime, we continue to wonder, what could these unknown objects be? What is their origin? And what does their appearance mean for our understanding of the universe? The truth is, we don't have all the answers yet. But what we do know is that Voyager 1 is still out there, working tirelessly to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. It has already exceeded all expectations, and who knows what else it will reveal before its mission finally comes to an end.